This video is made possible by Francisco Herrera Jr. at the Honda Superstore of Joliet. Francisco is a longtime car enthusiast who is dedicated to finding the perfect vehicle for you. Email him at the address on the screen or contact him with his information found in the description below. Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today I am driving a 2021 Honda Accord Sport Special Edition. Up front is a 1.5 liter turbocharged inline four, and down below is a CVT. Now, I am super excited to be driving this here Accord Sport for a couple of different reasons. First of all, the last Accord I drove was a 2019, so they have added some things since then. Before we get on with the video, if you are looking to sell your car, click the link in the description below. Cashforcars.com is looking to buy your car with a clean title, salvage title, running, non-running, whatever it is. Get a quick and easy free quote with the link down in the description below. And once you agree upon the price, they will pick up your car in less than 24 hours. You don't even have to get off the couch. So let's get back to that 1.5 liter inline four with a turbo. Well, I'll put the horsepower and torque up on the screen. It's around 192 horsepower, I believe, which isn't anything crazy, but this is the same engine that you'll find in the Honda Civic, Honda CRV, and other vehicles like that. It's part of the Earth Dreams engine family. And so far, so good. I seem to really like these engines. They haven't been around for super long, unlike Honda's other engines, like the J Series V6 that they put into the Odyssey. That's been around since the beginning of time. But in my experience driving these, which I have driven a lot of these engines, they have always been good to me. I'll also put the miles per gallon up on the screen. However, if MPGs is what you really want to push, I would highly recommend not looking at an Accord and looking at the Honda Insight. I recently just drove the 2021 Insight. It's very, very similar in size to the Accord and gets 51 miles to the gallon in the city. So if miles per gallon is an absolute top tier factor for you, I would highly recommend looking at that vehicle. But if you don't like the 1.5 liter, you can actually opt for a 2.0 liter turbo from the Civic Type R in your Honda Accord. Like I said, paired to it is a CVT, which means continuously variable transmission. And I don't really mind this. It is what it is. A lot of up and coming vehicles are using CVTs. It's just different from a traditional transmission. And still to me, they feel a little weird. We'll do an acceleration test and I think you'll see what I mean. All right, sport mode. Did you hear that? It did try to fake shift. It tried to make me feel better by fake shifting, but it sort of, it, it hesitated. It wasn't like a, uh, uh, it was like, uh, that's what I don't like about CVTs. Last but not least, the Honda Accord is front wheel drive. So let's talk about the interior. We have a fair bit to go through. Well, in front of me, I have two main gauges. On the left is my coolant temperature and my tachometer. And on the right is my speedometer and fuel. Now, the nice thing about the tachometer is that I can actually change it to be a bunch of different things. So I'm gonna scroll through a bunch of different screens that you can set here in this left gauge cluster. And I really, really like that. This is the same screen that you'll find in the Honda Insight as well. And I praised it in that car and I'm praising it again in this car. I think it's really, really nice to have a digital screen like that. And I can change it to be whatever I want. Yes, this is the Accord Sport, but I don't really need to look at my tachometer all that much, especially because it's a CVT. You're not really gonna see when the car shifts, so I'm glad that I have that customization and I can change that screen to be whatever I want. On the steering wheel, on the left, I have my volume controls, home, back, phone options, and then on the right, I have my cruise control options, which this does have adaptive cruise control, which is very, very nice. On the back of the steering wheel, I do get paddle shifters, as well as the steering wheel is stitched in leather, which I quite like. It feels good in my hands and I'm enjoying it. To the left of me, I have my trip button and gauge dimmer switch. And then below that, I have my traction control off and my bubble button. So my bubble button basically turns off all of the sensors around the car. Blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, adaptive cruise. It turns this all off at one push of a button, essentially turning off the car's force field. On the door, I have my power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. 
Now moving into the center, I do have a fairly nice touchscreen display. This is the more updated version of Honda's infotainment system. So this is like the Odyssey, like the Ridgeline and the Insight where the Civic and CRV still have the old style infotainment system. I like this version better. I think this looks really nice. It looks very clean. It's very colorful, easy to use. The buttons are nice and big. However, unfortunately, I do not have really any cool apps. I don't have cabin talk like the Odyssey or bed speakers like the Ridgeline. However, like I said, it's nice, clean, simple. And of course I have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So that's all I really need. One thing that I'm a little disappointed about here in the Honda Accord is the fact that there is no blind spot camera feature. So the Honda Civic, when you turn on the right turn signal, it actually turns on a camera in your center display screen to monitor your blind spot. This is really smart and I've driven older Honda Accords that actually have this feature. However, it's actually lacking here in the 2021 Sport Special Edition, which is disheartening to say the least. All right, so now talking about the rear view camera of the Accord and like all other modern Hondas, it has a couple different views we can select. This is more of a, like a fisheye bubble view. Then we have a little bit more narrow of a view you can see, see these bushes right here on the bubble view? They're a lot closer. You can see that sort of difference. And then I actually have a straight down view, which is absolutely awesome for backing up to close things. Let's see here, see that line? You can perfectly, well, hopefully you can do it better than I can, but you can actually line yourself up with the line looking straight down. I absolutely love this. However, one thing that the Accord backup camera does not get that is found in other Hondas is the backup sensor. So a lot of other Hondas will have the backup sensors displayed over here. This car actually does not have those. So you don't get that sort of feature, unfortunately. Down below that two climate control vents and my hazard button and then my actual climate controls themselves. I really, really like these. The knobs have great tactile feedback. They click really, really well. They have a nice weight to them they don't feel cheap and i like that a lot that's what i really look for in climate control knobs is do they feel cheap do i feel like i'm going to break them if i touch them too much and the answer is no here in the accord and i really really like that i do have heated seats as well which i'm pleasantly enjoying and heated mirrors which are awesome then i do have a big garage door on the center console hiding two usb ports and a 12 volt outlet then i have the center console itself of course the shifter up top very typical honda shifter although it is not push button like a couple of the other honda vehicles offered right now so it is a actual you know, physical shifter. At the bottom of the shifter, I have my econ button and sport button, then my automatic start stop on and off and my power parking brake with brake hold. Brake hold is a great feature. When you press this while still in drive, the vehicle will hold itself and not budge. This is awesome and I love this feature. Moving on to the seats, the seats are nice and comfortable. Like I said, they're heated, they are leather. They are power seats, which is very, very nice as well. They are not memory. However, this isn't a touring. This isn't a top trim Accord, so I can't blame it for that. And overall, very comfortable. They have little bolsters on either side. So they're sporty-ish, but they're not really sport seats. And they're definitely no Civic Type R seats. However, speaking of seats, we do have back seats. So let's do a back seat review. All right, so we're in the back of the 2021 Honda Accord Sport Special Edition. Down below, I have two USB chargers. Very, very nice. I also have two fold down cup holders in the center console back here, all stitched leather as well. But the biggest thing about the back seat, no pun intended, is literally the space. Headroom is great. I'm 5'11 and I don't have a prayer of really hitting the ceiling when I'm sitting straight up. But my knees, this is actually my driving position, my knees have tons and tons of room in front of them to where I can actually scoot down, relax. I can move my legs fully. Back here, this is really, really great. And the thing I wanna bring home about this is the fact that the base model Honda Accord, while this one is $30,000, as stickered here on the window, the base model Honda Accord actually starts at $24,000. Now, you're gonna have very base model features in that car, but the size doesn't change. It's still technically the same car. 
So you could get this amount of space, this amount of comfort in the back seat for $24,000. That's huge because I bought my Mazda 3 hatchback for $23,000 and the back seat is not good at all. So if back seat room is a big, big thing for you, it's a big must, you drive people around, you got a lot of friends, family, whatever it is, the Accord is much better than the Civic, much better than a lot of the competitors at that price range of $24,000. Again though, like I said, this sport special edition is actually $30,000, well $30,070, but 30 grand for this particular one. Now we'll take a quick look at the trunk and then we'll talk about the looks. All right, so we're around the back of the 2021 Honda Accord Sport special edition. Just pop the trunk right like that. Now right off the bat, the first thing that I notice is that really wide trunk here. I mean, it has these nice outcoves. I would, I mean, that's just absolutely huge. I do get this nice rubberized mat. Um, I can pull up the floor here, you know, jack, things like that, funnel. I don't know why modern Hondas give you a funnel, but that's awesome. This, this trunk is great. Space, I know we just talked about the back seat. Back seat space, amazing. Trunk space, amazing. I mean, this is really, really wide. It really goes fully side to side, and I absolutely love that. You'll have no issues with trunk room here in the Accord. Now we gotta talk about the looks. I like the look of the Accord. I think it looks great. I think it looks modern. I think it looks fresh. And that's all I can really ask for from a car like this. I'm not trying to show up at a red carpet and, and, and wow the paparazzi with this car. The color is Sonic Gray Pearl, and I really, really like it. I think it's an absolutely great color from Honda. And it's different than just, you know, black, silver, or white. And I really, really like that. However, it looks presentable, it looks nice. And that's really my final thoughts on the Honda Accord is the fact that this car has been a staple for going on 30 plus years. I drove an early 90s Honda Accord earlier this year and I loved driving it. It was light, it was sporty, it was fun and offered a lot better size options than the Honda Civic. And today in 2020, as we are at the end of 2020, that still reigns true about the Accord. It has great space. It's a full size car. And I know that there are bigger ones, but this is a full size sedan in my book. The space in the back is great. The features in here are pretty good and it's peppy enough. It's fun to drive enough. You know, the steering has a pretty good weight to it. I'm enjoying myself pretty decently here in the Accord. However, there's just one thing that I keep thinking about with the Accord, and that is the Honda Insight. So if you haven't seen the video yet, I recently reviewed a 2021 Honda Insight, as I stated at the beginning of this review. And the Honda Insight has a weird name, sure, but it gets 51 miles to the gallon in the city and feels very, very similar to this here Accord, to the point where actually it looks like the Accord as well. And while I think this here Accord is great, they've always been great, great features, looks great, drives great, I'm pleasantly enjoying, very easy to drive here. I, I, I don't want it to seem like I dislike the Accord, because I don't. And to be fair, I'm only driving the 1.5 liter while there is a two liter turbo offered as well. It's actually a Civic Type R engine. So this is my public service announcement because most people don't even know that the Insight exists still. To please, if you're looking for a Honda Accord to buy, please go look at the Insight as well. I think you'd really be surprised at how similar the vehicles are, but the Insight just gets way better gas mileage. And so that's it. This car has been great for the last 30 years. You really cannot go wrong with a Honda Accord. I know tons of people who have owned Honda Accords and either still own them or got rid of them with well over two or 300,000 miles. These cars are fantastic. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Huge thank you to Francisco at the Honda Superstore of Joliet. He is absolutely awesome. He's a car enthusiast himself, and so he will get you into the right vehicle. He's not going to push you into whatever car has the highest price tag. He's really truly in it to find you a great quality vehicle that you will enjoy. And so please give him your business. His information is up on the screen as well as linked in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really like it. Take care, guys.